welcome back. And if this is your first time here, welcome in. So what I'm going to do during the process of this whole video is kind of give you, <laughs> um, I'm going to work on this one tumbler here, this baseball uh, mom tumbler that was asked to make. And she gave me a couple of pictures of different things. And I went kind of whichever way I thought that I really wanted to go and the things that I had and that kind of thing. But I wanted to show y'all kind of how this leopard print design, um, not saying definitely I was not the first or the last or anything like that, but this, I started doing this years ago where I would do like a gold at the bottom as like, uh, and then I would do a black or I would do a gold and then do a brown or whatever the client wanted as far as like teal and purple or whatever. And then I would go in and do a leopard print on the bottom in the color that is on the top and the name or whatever the organization or whatever it was that I was doing on the top would be whatever color was on the bottom. So it was kind of just an easy way to pull in two colors, do an ombre, that kind of thing. So what I'm doing here is the baseball mom tumbler. Now this one I am using Midas at the bottom and now I'm going in with goddess and I'm filling that in basically because I laid Midas down all over the bottom and it was, it's a real chunky, beautiful gold. It has a lot of um, iridescence and things like that, but I didn't want to use Athena because it just seems like Athena always gets used. So I wanted to, to say like, you know, if you have Midas or maybe try something different, um, this would be really cool. So then anyways, I went in with uh, Fillory, 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 I don't know, 2.1, 2.0. Um, and that was the big chunky iridescent on the top. And I really loved this one because it had so much gold look feel to it as well and so I really thought that it complemented that Midas um, and then I'm not sure the um, glitter that I went in like to fill in for the Fillory, Fillory whatever it is uh, so I will have to link that down below because I'm not sure which one it was but anyways that's what I do I put a chunky down bring in a um, like a, a fine cut and then fill in all of those, um, you know, spots that could possibly be open. Now, this one has become pretty popular um, at my son's school. This is um, just a just Liberty just doused over the whole entire thing. Liberty is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. And what you can do is use that one color that the school has and then go in with that main, that other like secondary color and just you do the leopard print or, you know, the school logo or whatever or the name or whatever it is. And then this is another one that I've done actually several of these as well. Um, and this is a, just a school that um, is here. I don't have no idea if it's anywhere else. I'm sure it is. But um, anyways, she had asked me to do this. And I guess the school has where you have to use like a navy color and then you pick a color to go with it. And so they had picked lime green, which truthfully is one of my favorite mixtures um, when you have like a navy or a dark blue and you put the um, neon green with it. I don't know why, but I just love it. So anyways, so I love making these and um, I just did just a basic ombre. Once again, I did the green on the bottom and I did Liberty on the top. Um, I think this green is the green that I used from Sugar and Spice Co. But I'll have it listed down below for that. And then I used the the fine cut to fill in there. Now, what I was showing in this is that here we go again with the same type of design. You don't have to think so hard about these designs. This is so easy when you can just, you have the blue on the top. And so on the bottom, you bring down some blue leopard print and bam, you have a design. And it is so popular. I have a ton of people that they just love this design and um, it works out really, really well. Now, this one, because it was a straight 
Tumblr, it was so easy for me to put a transfer sheet, a, tr blah, 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 a transfer, you know, the clear stuff, whatever. I don't know. The stuff that you use to uh, transfer the, the stuff. Anyways, I don't know why my brain's not working today, but so I, because it's a, because it was a straight tumbler, I could just put it on there and just roll it all the way over. Now, a lot of the times I'm doing this on a traditional or a modern curve, and those do not lend for you to just, for, for you to put it on, um, you know, rounded out like this type of situation. So, um, with this, it was, it was really easy. And then all I do is just kind of fill in wherever I feel like it needs to be filled in. And I do kind of ombre it up into the blue, right? So I kind of bring a little bit of those sheets. Um, I mean, of those little spots, I bring them up into that blue just to kind of give it that full on kind of ombre look. And then the logo is blue and white. And so I just went ahead and just did the blue as the background and then the white on the top. So that's just a way that you can kind of look at something when you're asked to do these types of things. You don't have to go so literal. You don't have to go exactly the colors or, you know, you can kind of take direction from it and then go from there. And um, I promise you will definitely have a success on your hands. And then here I'm just putting, they had asked for uh, their titles to be on there. No names, just their titles. And so what I did was I used this really cool iridescent lime green color. And then I used white on the top there to, um, you know, put the name on there. So I did the offset. So I brought in that green, but just on um, the backside. So here is the leopard print for that full blue tumbler that we did um that this is a school pride type of tumbler and so we're just doing um just doing just a plain blue tumbler and then what i do here is with this because this is a traditional and so on the sides and on the top and the bottom is where you kind of like you slice it out or you cut it off or wherever it's you know when you're in the cricket and so i use that side where they're flat on the bottom to put them on the bottom part of the tumbler right so i'm picking this up and i'm turning it and then i'm putting as you can see that one piece is like really flat so i'm putting that on the bottom so we have that look of like okay they're at the bottom and they're kind of being cut off but as you can see here i'm taking bits and pieces um, with the transfer tape there it is transfer tape that's what it was anyways <laughs> transfer tape uh, I'm putting, I'm using it to like pick up a bundle of them, I guess, or just a cluster of them. And then I am um, using it to put on the tumbler. And so uh, <clears throat> I do this and then eventually I just start putting them on there individually because I, you know, I start getting to the point where I've, I've kind of filled up most of the area. And so I, I just start doing it kind of just wherever I feel like it needs to be filled in. So this is me just hand placing, you know, just kind of look around to see if I feel like I could make a full spot with um, some of them, um, you know, maybe fill in another bigger spot with another smaller spot and kind of make it look more like a true leopard spot. Or I just fill in with some little small dots to where, you know, I can just fill in the area. Now you can really take this and go like all in and really fill it up with as many dots as you possibly can, or you can go more minimalistic. It's totally up to you. This is why I love this design because, you know, you can do colored spots underneath. You can just do this basic white or basic blue or green or whatever the colors are that you're using. But um, that's why I just love this design. And I wanted to kind of put a compilation together because it's really hard for me to um, to kind of like, I don't know. Sometimes I get commissioned to do this stuff that's, you know, a school or whatever. And I don't want to put it on um, YouTube. So I will just show y'all that I just do this or a school, you know, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking about that, but 
this is how I do my leopard print. I've done so many of these in so many different colors and they're super easy and super popular. Everybody loves them. Uh, they definitely make a statement and um, you're not going to usually go wrong with a design like this. So now we're going back to our baseball tumbler that we started in the beginning. So I wanted to have something that was somewhat finished, I guess, <laughs> you know, a full, um, I guess, a full tutorial, but I just wanted to have kind of like those added in parts that, you know, you don't have to follow any kind of rule or anything like that. So what I'm doing here is what I do every single time once I get to the point of, um, you know, I've put several coats of epoxy on there. So now I'm taking my file and I'm filing down any really pointy bits that are on there. And then I'm also sanding down the rest of the tumbler. Now, these I got from Mr. Nola's glitter, I believe. Um, and they were part of a big sheet of baseball stuff. And they are white backed. So they were printed on white ink. So the white ink goes down and then they go back over it and print a regular ink over that. And so this was pretty full of color as far as there wasn't really a whole lot of spots. So I did do some sanding on the top, but I went ahead and put this on top because you cannot tell um, if it was a full, it had, it had a lot of clear, clear spots on it. I would suggest that you definitely, um, make sure that you do not put this on there without putting a coat of epoxy, but because this was just so full of color and print and everything, I knew that it wouldn't matter any, if there was a little bit of sanding on that one side, uh, you know, if I put the, that on top. So just take my advice on that. Don't, don't do it. If you feel like, no, this is really going to show up. If I, if I put this on there that, because once you put something over that sanded area, that's it. It's, it's, it's not going to get that epoxy coating over it because it's already covered. And so the underneath will be, you know, sanded and dull and not shiny because the epoxy does that whenever you put it over there. But if it, if it has a sticker on top, it's not going to do that. So she had sent me a several, a couple of different designs and she was like, I like this, but I don't like that, but I like this, but I don't like that. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to go all out here and I'm going to use all the baseball stuff. I'm going to really, really vamp it up as far as baseball. Now I had these, I, I believe they're from Mr. Nola's as well. Um, I will try to find everything. If I don't have it, I'm sorry, but um, sometimes I buy things and they go in a drawer and then I don't find a use for them until, you know, until now. So anyways, this one, um, is, they are also white backed. So they have white ink and then they're printed with the regular ink. So you can put them on any color. Uh, they're not going to show through as like clear. So, um, I just went in and I just chopped off all of those little sections that were inside of those laces because we had done some sanding i didn't want to i wanted to make sure that we didn't have any or too much clear um, showing through i really wanted to only show those laces so i went through and very meticulously cut all around these and it did take me quite some time but it was worth it in the end because it really went on really smooth and I didn't have any extra clear vinyl that was kind of bubbled up or sticking up. It was, it really helped it kind of just form to the cup and go on there really smooth. So, uh, you know, I know it's a pain, but I definitely would suggest doing that. So then using a little bit of transfer tape, <clears throat> I, uh, peeled back that, you know, the backing of that. And then I used kind of the natural cut of the top of the vinyl there to go on the top of the tumbler. And then I just pushed it down. Um, it was a little bit, a, a little bit wonky, but that was okay. I liked the kind of, I, I don't know. I just liked the ed, the, the non-perfectness of this whole tumbler. It was just very, um, edgy in a way that, um, anyways, I really enjoyed it.
So, but that's why I wanted to bring you the whole process. So here we go again. This is what I was saying about taking some spots that were a different color. So the leopard print cup that she had sent me was, um, it had these red spots. And so I was like, okay, this I can do. So I picked out this really cool red holographic vinyl that I got, I think off Amazon or I got it somewhere that I went. Um, if I can find it somewhere, I will definitely link it. But it was just something that I had in my drawer. And it, it was like a square 3D print. And so I cut out these spots that I found um, and you, you remember my breast cancer cup, I kind of cut everything else out except for those spots that were in the middle of the leopard print. And then I just cut those. I just kind of made them about the size of this leopard print cut. I just kind of spaced it out to where they would fit um, in each one of those little kind of holes just in the background. I didn't do any kind of specific math or anything. I just was like, okay, those look like they'll probably be about as big as they need to be for this particular, you know, leopard print. So then I just took the leopard print after that. And, um, I did, I guess I figured that I needed some transfer tape. So I took some transfer tape and then I just kind of fit them around the spots. And so I just picked kind of something that I felt like, okay, I just looked around to see, okay, this one will fit over this one. This one will look good on this one. I had to turn them, you know, maybe kind of to fit that spot inside of those spots. But um, all in all, this, re this tumbler, like I genuinely, I sent it to the client and she didn't answer me for like two days. And I thought, you know what, if she doesn't like this, then it's mine. I'm keeping it. Because, and then I think, and, she, and then she finally responded and said, oh my God, I love it so much. But I was like, okay, good. Because if not, it was going to be mine. I was going to keep it because I absolutely loved this. And I'm definitely probably going to make myself one. So anyways, we're going to speed this up. We're going to put um, these spots on there. And that's just, you know, basically that's all I did. It was I put those red spots on beforehand. I just placed them kind of sporadically all over that bottom of that tumbler and then I went in with the spot that I thought would be the best the black spot would be the best spot to go over that red spot um, there was absolutely no you know science math strategery or anything like that I just went in with what I thought would look really cool and then once I got done putting all of the black spots over the red spots I just went through and just kind of filled in wherever I thought and um, I did fill in the top there to kind of give it that ombre you know that kind of falling down look and then I did put any of the the ones that were cut off at the bottom I put those at the bottom to kind of fill up and then that was it so I after that I go in with my coat of Mod Podge I did seal this up and then we're going to put some decals over this, even though I already have decals, but I wanted to have that kind of background look of the baseball. I, I just really wanted this to be um, kind of over the top. Like in my mind, I was like, this is going to be just like all the way baseball, leopard print, baseball, strip stitches, baseball, baseball mom, that kind of thing. And so that's kind of why I went through this. So I went and I put a coat of Mod Podge to cover that up to seal everything in there. And then I went in with a coat of epoxy. And then there she is. I put this, this baseball mom, I printed it off a uh, printable vinyl from uh, Creative Fabrica. I made a um, a decal on the back side that said my favorite player wears number four that's what she wanted instead of the, the name or her name and so I just did that on the back side with that one centered baseball but um, anyways I hope that this inspires you to just take this and run with it because this is so easy to do so quick and fast and it's something that really makes an impact Please like and subscribe and follow down below and let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.